Hello, welcome back to the channel now. I've just watched a video and um, I must admit it's one of the most impressive videos I have ever seen. Most impressive DIY videos I have ever seen. Okay, because this guy builds a yacht in Vietnam in 90 days out of scrap. Now, the most impressive part for me was the engine, okay? Because that engine looked like it was an impossible task to get up and running. It looked like it was at the bottom of the ocean for many centuries and it was a, it was part of the coral reef, basically. That's what it looked like. Um, but this guy stripped the whole engine down, cleaned it up, and he didn't even replace any parts. Just cleaned it up, assembled it all back together, and it was up and running, and running just fine. Um, so that was some serious ingenuity there. Um, and then he goes on to building the actual yacht. Now, it's not really a yacht, even though he's called it a yacht in the title. Um, it's, it's more of a boat, a small boat or a, a large jet ski with a roof. That's what it basically is, a large jet ski with a roof, but still very impressive. Okay, and it looks like it was just one man, him, himself, building the yacht. There may have been a team. But in the video, it looked like it was just one man with basic tools, basic tools and no PPE. Um, now, in the comment section, there's a lot of people, well, a handful of people um, who are hating on the guy. Now, one of the reasons is because, well, there was a scene where he was driving alone and he was wearing a mask and a lot of the people well a handful of people in the comment section are hating on him um, because of him wearing a mask driving alone um, I mean that's not something you should really pick up on and then be hating on uh, you, you know it's just pointless to be honest um, and then there's a handful of people who are hating on the guy because of lack of PPE which I totally understand he wasn't wearing any gloves wasn't wearing any proper masks or goggles or steel toe boots um, but you've got to realize in a lot of these asian countries a lot of these poor asian countries um this is just this is just, this is the norm in the manufacturing production environment they don't really have ppe uh they just wear normal clothes and they just get on with the job um and that's that's the norm in poor asian countries so you can't really hate on them too much you got to understand in that part of the world how things are running and how things are um and then yeah that's um that's that's the summary of the video but i'm going to go ahead and read some of the comments that people have posted uh one of the comments now all those microplastics from the resin and fiberglass entering the environment from him doing this outside and making a mess simply so he can have a little boat moron it's not a yacht i agree with you there welding without protection is just foolish sitting alone in a car with a mask really that was the moment i left idiots please stop driving wearing a mask it's just stupid and dumb your build is entrepreneurial genius at first i thought you were dumb grabbing that busted engine by the end of the video i realized i am the idiot nice boat you all dumb ess comments believing in what you see total bs now this guy um probably believes that it's uh, a whole bunch of cgi and there was a hundred men who built the thing i don't know uh, but still it was an impressive thing to achieve with basic tools and with what the boat uh, looked like, you know, what the end result looked like, I, I think it was pretty damn amazing, to be honest. Uh, so all of these, these haters um, uh, should, should tone it down a little because it was still impressive with what he or they achieved. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.